Rodolfo's really loved. His granddaughters think he hung the moon. His sons and his daughter-in-laws, they they laugh at him sometimes because he has little quirky ways, but uh, they love every minute about it. I'm 74 years old. I'm a grandfather. I'm a father. I'm a veteran. I'm an activist. I'm a photographer. And I like to live life to the fullest. I'm a survivor of a double aneurysm that I didn't realize I had until it happened. Well, it was scary. We all were, were scared because he was kind of living on a time bomb. Well, aneurysms don't cause symptoms until they rupture. So people are diagnosed incidentally. They have a study done for another reason and by accident you find a large aneurysm or they present with symptoms or a rupture which is too late, like the horse is out of the barn. Late at night, I was laying in my bed, and all of a sudden, I got this sharp pain in my back. I sat up, and I was having a hard time catching my breath. I was life flighted from the emergency room to the medical center. Mr. Sandoval had a very large aneurysm from the chest all the way through the belly, and it involved all the arteries that provide blood supply to the critical organs in the belly. My first option was open heart where they would actually have to open me from chest to stern. I didn't like the percentages having to do with maybe paralysis, maybe kidney malfunctions. Thankfully, I met Dr. Ulrich. We were fortunate to be able to bring hope and an alternative to him in the midst of this pandemic that was minimally invasive and it was very successful. I met with him for 10 minutes, and during those 10 minutes, he convinced me. When I came out of that surgery, I opened my eyes, everything was working, I was looking, I was moving, I felt good. This man just had heart surgery just a few hours before this, and he was already, you know, FaceTiming and talking to people. Just looking at his pictures after the surgery with his five granddaughters, I mean, that's, the best reward we could ever ask for. I have been able to do things with my grandkids that I wasn't able to do with my own kids. Now I'm able to get in there with them, I'm able to run with them, I'm able to get on the slides with them, I'm able to get on the trampoline. They have actually given me a new purpose for life and I'm enjoying the hell out of this. I think this is very important that you all understand that this mission is critical for all of us given how frequent cardiovascular problems are and how much work we still have to do to fully understand these diseases and be able to treat them with less risk of complications. The American Heart Association and groups like that are very important to Houston uh, because they not only do research, but they do education. I just can't, I can't find the words to express my gratitude. Uh, the only way I can do that is just live life to the fullest. I get emotional because if it wouldn't have been for American Heart Association and their dedication to finding solutions for problems like the ones I had, I wouldn't be here. All I got to say is thank you. Thank you to the uh, American Heart Association. Thank you to my doctor, my family, my kids that have, been, have given me inspiration to not just give up. Life is good.